Hello, welcome to the Horn Studio at Wichita State University. My name is Dr. Jeb Wallace. I'm the Horn Professor here at WSU, and I serve as Principal Horn with the Wichita Symphony Orchestra. Today we're going to be talking about the audition music for Kansas Music Educators All State and All District Auditions. The selections for this particular audition will be from the first movement of Concerto Number no. 1 by Richard Strauss. There's two selections that uh, have been marked for you to prepare, and those are the opening fanfare from measure 1 to measure 5, and then uh, measure 76 to the end of the movement. I've broken these up into three separate selections for practice purposes today, and we're going to discuss each one. The first selection from measure 1 through 5 is a fanfare, and that's the first opportunity you have to portray your image of the work and to really signal the beginning of this movement. It's marked energico, and oftentimes this is played as somewhat of a cadenza because the horn is playing alone. So the first three notes will be uh, performed in a very stately manner with a very clear dotted eighth sixteenth. In the middle part of the phrase you can move forward a bit, and then in the pickups to measure five, pull back again very stately, and then be sure that the last two half notes, uh, the F octaves, are very in tune with one another. <laughs> Second selection for your audition begins at measure 76 and ends at the conclusion of the movement. I've broken this up into two smaller sections for the purpose of discussion and practice. The first of those sections starts at measure 76 and ends at measure 107 in the middle of the bar before the E flat at the bottom of the staff. From measure 76 to measure 79, we have a, a fanfare once again, similar to the beginning, marked energy go. In this passage, we want to keep the pulse very stable, listen for clean, clear, and consistent tone and articulation on the 16th notes, as well as on the half notes marked with an accent. From measure 79 to the pickups to 84, this is a short transition section where we're still going to be feeling the music in four, but playing with lots of connection and a lyrical quality. When we get to 84, we're marked dolce or sweetly. I like to feel this section in two to provide a contrast and create some variety. Uh, follow the vocal line here and allow yourself to indulge the crescendos and decrescendos. When we get to measure 103, I go back to feeling this in four. And the tempo is not necessarily changing between this feeling of two and four, but it's, it's a matter of beat emphasis. So from measure 103 until the, me the middle of measure 107, uh, we'll be feeling it clearly in four with a constant, stable pulse. At the downbeat of 104, notice you have two eighth notes, followed in the next measure by dotted eighth sixteenth note on the downbeat, and finally by uh, four sixteenth notes. Each one of those should be progressively uh, more intense with a little bit more excitement in the color of the sound. <laughs> with you starts after beat one in measure 107. The E flat ox octaves help us transition into the last section. Starting in measure 108, we have a dialogue with the woodwinds involving triplets. Be sure that the tone quality and the articulation is consistent from the lowest triplet to the top and sustain the quarter note. 
be extra careful on the rests here. So oftentimes you hear students play too early or too late. If you can hear the orchestra part, you'll find that helpful. When you get to measure 119, the piece becomes inc increasingly virtuosic. And so we have to go down below the staff and then up to the A flat above the staff. Uh, I would suggest practicing this section slowly and slurred to practice the way you're going to use your air. A smooth air stream will help this section to sound easy and fluid, which will also help you to maintain your best sound in all registers. Finally, when we get to measure 125, we have the return of the fanfare, very similar to the fanfare at measure 76, but this time we're in the key of F major rather than D minor. Be strong, be bold, keep a very steady pulse and your best sound on every note. When you get to the half notes at measure 127, try not to be aggressive but rather stately. Interpret the accents as space between the notes, but don't be too harsh on the articulation itself. I also recommend that you breathe before measure 129 or after 129, but from 130 to 131 on the resolution, uh, I think it works better to sustain uh, through the end of that whole note and resolve back to tonic. <laughs> taking the time to watch this video and to explore the concerto number one by Richard Strauss more deeply in preparation for your auditions. I wish you all the best in your all district and all state auditions.